so hello everyone so the question is short colors so uh, this is the problem of uh, it could be utd problem of the day so the given question is uh, given an array nums with an object and uh, colored uh, we have given a colors that is red white and blue red and red white and blue are represented as uh, 0 1 2 where 0 is for red 1 is for white and uh, 2 is for uh, blue so we have to short this uh, nums without using any short function or using any extra space in la in last there is given a, a note that we can use only one extra space so how we are going to do this um, problem so first i you should uh, think like a basic <laughs> easy problem where you will find the solution that is count the number of ones and twos and zeros after that what do you, you will do um, you will uh, put that number of zeros first then number of ones after that and the rest one will be uh, two so that is the solution of this problem so let's see the code in java here i have uh, calculate uh, counted the number of zeros ones and twos here is the um, for loop where I have counted if nums are equal to 2 then 2 plus plus and 0 plus plus 1 plus plus for uh, 1 and 0 so here uh, after that here I have uh, again written a code for loop where I have uh, as I told you that we will put the number of zeros first then second then second in second will be ones and then third will be twos so here first if 0 is not equal to 0 means uh, my uh, counting of 0 is there means there is definitely um, 1 or 2 zeros are present so what you will do uh, put nums of i equal to 0 and do 0 minus minus means decrease the 0 counting and then again for 1 uh, do the same uh, if 1 is not equal to 0 then i equal to nums i equal to 1 uh, you are not if you are seeing this uh, code then you will notice that why i am using else if because first we need to put these zeros first and then in second we need to put this one uh, in second and then last we will need to put this nums two okay here you can do two minus minus also but this is not required in last this uh, two will going to fill all these uh, remaining uh, elements okay uh, here i have used if because if my this condition is going to run then remaining conditions will uh, not execute further if this condition run then again for loop is going to execute and if this condition is false then my else if condition will run okay so by this way this code will run okay so let's uh, run it Uh, you will uh, see this all cases as uh, accepted you, you can submit it so yeah the code is uh, submitted so thank you for watching this video guys